So let us discuss one more problem on newton raphson method. So using newton raphson method, we have to find the approximate equation, approximate solution of the equation e power x minus 3x equal to 0, which lies between 0 and 1, right? So here let us write f of x as e power x minus 3x and f dash of x is the differentiation of e power x is e power x minus the differentiation of 3x is 3. And here one more thing is given, root lies between 0 and 1 is given. So let us consider the initial guess as the average of these two numbers. So 0 plus 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5. Now let us calculate the first approximation by using newton raphson formula. So we know that x1 equals to the initial approximation minus f at initial approximation divided by f dash at initial approximation. Right? So that is equal to what? So uh, we, we have to treat this equation now. So uh, let us read the equation first. So uh, as always, uh, we have to read uh, the alpha x button here. Alpha open bracket that will give you x minus. So use brackets here, right? So divided by the brackets. So now uh, let us uh, substitute the numerator. What is the numerator here? It is e power x. The numerator is e power x. It is e power x. Close the bracket. Okay. So minus 3 into x. So this is the numerator. Now let us write the denominator. What is the denominator? Which is e power x. Which is e power x. Close the bracket. Oh, minus 3. So that's the denominator. Right. So now we have to hit the CALC button. Right. And after that, uh, we have an initial condition as 0 0.5. Let us substitute the x value as 0 0.5. So 0 0.6101. So that is the first approximation. To get the next next approximation, hit the equal button again here and substitute x value as 0 0.6101. So we will get what? Which is 0 0.6190 as the next approximation. Again, to calculate the next approximation value, hit the equal button and 0 0.6190 again. So we will get 0 0.6191. And again, to calculate the next approximation, hit the equal button and substitute the value of x as 0 0.6191. So now we get the same thing, 0 0.6191. So I can say that since x4 and x3 are equal, I can say that the required root is 0 0.6191.